New details for you tonight on a bomb scare still happening right now at the Colorado Mountain College campus in Leadville. Investigators have been on campus all day searching for a suspicious package after a threat this morning. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is there. Mark. We've learned within the last hour that CMC will have classes tomorrow, but you can see behind me some of the Department of Corrections agents still have the roads to the campus shut off. Now, recently we did see one of the bomb squad vehicles come through here. Right now, investigators going through. They've already cleared some of the vehicles on campus. Now they're going through the tedious process of clearing the buildings. This is far from a typical day at Colorado Mountain College in Leadville. Lake County Office of Emergency Management says around 9 this morning, one man was taken into custody after a bomb threat was called into 911. This is the alert text sent to students like Harrison Burnett. If you're on campus, stay put and then um, basically if you're not on campus, don't go up to campus. While Colorado Mountain College was put on lockout, so were Lake County Public Schools. A college spokesperson says some high school students also take classes here at CMC in this tight-knit campus of 450 students. It's pretty and laid back, you know. Everybody knows each other up there. It's a small campus, you know. And if you look at this map, you can see which buildings on campus were evacuated, with some students told to shelter in place. But for one former student, that idea didn't make some of his friends on campus feel very safe. They've got them all in the cafe, and in my opinion, that's not the most secure location they could keep the students. Um, staff does care about the safety of students there, but they're all a little unnerved that they've just all kind of been left in the cafe, and by what I've been told, they haven't been told much. While there hasn't been any information about a potential device released yet, leaders on campus are hoping to get classes back on schedule tomorrow. And they are hoping to release the suspect's name and maybe a mugshot later on tonight. And active right now, you can see some of these Department of Corrections officers lifting up some of these cones, really getting the feeling that this campus may be back open here momentarily. We'll, of course, continue to be here throughout the evening to have this covered for you. We're live in Leadville. Mark Boyle, Denver 7.